still arrive. Evacuate the city. Engage all defenses. And get this man a shield. Something one considers from what is good YouTube, Watch you here with a video on Marvel Avengers Infinity War. So based on the title, you will know this video is going to contain potential major spoilers. So click away if you don't want to know what I'm about to talk about. But last night, a recent kind of leak, apparently the first 25 minutes of Avengers Infinity War, leaked online for the couple of minutes and people wrote down what was actually shown. Now, I don't know how a major movie would get online at least 25 minutes and then get deleted really fast, but it could be, it could be a lie, could be true but based on trailer one and trailer two some of it very well could be true so let's get into the video you have been warned spoiler alert so smash that like button guys this is gonna make you cry if it's true it really is so the opening scene is thanos watching from a ship at the, at the destruction of his homeworld titan then we get the marvel studio logo thanos and his force have attacked xandar and are going for the power stone black order managed to break in and kill most of the people inside the nova Corp, except Nova Prime and a few others. Thanos then makes his appearance in a very Darth Vader fashion. Now I really hope that doesn't matter. I really hope that doesn't happen because we don't need Star Wars Star Wars tripe in this movie. It's got nothing to do with Star Wars. He demands to know where the Power Stone is, but Nova Prime refuses to tell him, so he has Ebony Moore torture her. They gave it to Rahoman, who is escaping the planet with his family, but Thanos spots them and brings the ship down with an energy blast from his hand interesting stuff guys he retrieves the stone and spares the family or at least you assume assume he does he leaves the planet but while in orbit he tests the power stone on the planet wiping out all life away which sounds pretty awesome cuts now now it cuts to earth and you see iron man spider-man etc all going about their day's stuff this is where it gets very interesting back to space with thor and co at the end of thor right Loki tells Thor they need to escape, but the ship comes under fire. Valkyrie, Heimdall and Korg take some of the survivors away. Meanwhile, Thor, Loki and Hulk stay behind to fight Thanos. Loki and Thor fight members of the Black Order, while Hulk goes after Thanos. Hulk gets a few hits in, but Thanos wipes the floor with him after getting annoyed. Now, this is what doesn't make sense. Hulk is OP. How can Thanos wipe the floor with him, but Hulk gets in a few good hits? Loki wants Thanos to spare his brother in return here, given the space stone. Now, this is really where it gets interesting. Thanos agrees and spares Thor's spare Thor, but kills Loki and forces Thor to watch. Guys, kills Loki and he kills Loki and Thor has to watch him. Now I've previously said during my trailer breakdown that I think this whole scene is manipulation. So even if Loki does actually die, it's gonna be manipulation. He's pretended to, he's like falsely died so many times that maybe it actually is a real death if this is true. And he is dead, but no one presumes he's dead because he's just gonna come back. But we do know he was filming for Avengers 4, so I don't think he actually is really dead. Now he flings Thor into deep space and sends Hulk to Earth with the space stone he tells hulk to let them know he's coming hulk is then seen falling to earth like a comet alerting tony and doctor strange now this is very interesting because we know that thor is going to get it is going to smash into the guardian ship left for dead so we know it happens and we do see in trailer two we do see the hulk crashing down into doctor strange sanctuary but the only thing i don't really think is true about this is that loki is going to be killed off why would they kill off one of the best characters in the whole MCU. I know what you're going to say. Kevin Feige, the Russo brothers, they all said that deaths are going to be permanent. The first five minutes is going to make you cry. It's going to be savage. Now, this does sound really savage, and I really hope they don't kill Loki off again. Because, let's be honest, 
You can't have Thor without Loki. Well, you could, but I don't believe this bit's real. So, guys, let me know in the comment box down below. Do you think this is true? Do you think it's false? Now, I mean, I don't really like the way they're portraying Hulk. Now, we get that Thanos is the big bad of the MCU, but why does Thanos wipe him out so easily like he's nothing? And how come Thanos wipes Thor out like he's nothing? We get it. Thanos is going to be mighty and powerful once he's got all the stones, but to wipe out Thor and Hulk like they're nothing is absolutely insane. And it's interesting to see that Korg is potentially going to be in this movie because I wasn't really sure what's going to happen with him. So, guys, you could say this is a lie. You could say it's made up. You could say anything. I mean, it was found on a 4chan Reddit post. Um, I was sent the article. So, I'm not going to say it's 100% true. Just take it with a pinch of salt. But I will have to tie it to something like major death revealed in the first 25 minutes of Infinity War or something like detailed major spoilers or something. I don't know. Uh, major spoilers. Um, something like that. I've got no idea, guys, what I'm actually going to call it until, I'm, until I tie or the video but it will be something around them premises but everything i've said guys let me know in the comment box down below if you really want them to know i will link the actual website where you can find this from but it's interesting how it actually said that the whole video was up but then it got taken down so i don't know what to think guys i mean it is rumored it has been theorized by many people on youtube youtube that Loki was actually going to send Hulk to Earth, but it was quite realistic knowing that kind of Thor got his ass handed to him, that Hulk was going to get his ass handed to him. Seeing as it says that Bruce Banner Hulk is scared of Thanos, we knew that it was going to be the case that Thanos was going to be the one to send to send Hulk to Earth. Anyway, guys, this is a short video on what I think is going on. I don't really believe it. It could be true. It might not be true. But we here at the Wall Street Channel like to bring to you interesting stories that seem interesting. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe and comment hit that bell button down below because youtube's got a massive problem where unless you've hit a notification button you don't actually see any videos so guys join toy war stew and the warheads comment down below is it true is it false will you cry if loki dies anyway guys i'll catch you in another video very soon guys catch you later